were you shocked when I told you I was into women? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me T, and I'm here with my lovely, lovely best friend Jess, who I've known since we were like 14 years old. So, so young, just littles. That was 10 years ago. The reason why I wanted to get Jess in on this video is because we've known each other obviously for 10 years and we've been so close for 10 years and we've seen each other through it all. And... <laughs> The good, the bad, and the ugly. Were you shocked when I told you I was into women? No, 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 no. Why, why is that, Jessica? Why is that? Oh, so many reasons, P. Firstly, off the bat, let's just say, like, women are magical creatures. So, like, I know that everyone has, like, a deep appreciation for, like, the beauty of women. Like, there would be times in, like, high school we'd be, like, watching X Factor, and I don't even think you were, like, looking at the actual candidates, like, on the screen. You're just, like, looking at Demi Lovato with your eyes, like, saucers. Like, you were so obsessed with Demi Lovato. I feel like you've just always been, like, so excited to, like, cuddle people at the end of the night or, like, put your feet up on people. Like, you've always just been such a, like, a... I, honestly, you do that with me, though, and I know that you've never been attracted to me once, which is which is cool, I guess. I don't even remember when you came out. Like, I don't remember it being a monumental thing because I just feel like it was such a natural, like, progression of who you were and conversations we'd had in the past that whenever you did end up coming out to me, I was probably just like, oh, I already felt like I knew that. <laughs> really funny how you actually did bring up the Demi Lovato and X Factor thing because I think Demi was actually my first celebrity woman crush. I'm, I'm gonna sound a little crazy when I say this but Demi I think was the first woman that I was like wait a second why do I feel like I could actually like be with you because I remember being in like 2010 when I saw her music video for Give Your Heart a Break and I actually felt like butterflies or something like I wanted to be the guy in the video like with her, like painting the walls with her, like doing all these cute things. I just want to bring you flowers and rub your feet. You know how people say, oh, every girl is a little gay. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Maybe we are, for sure. Maybe that could be a thing. But I also think women in general are very sensual, attractive people. And Demi Lovato was kind of the first person where I was like, I want to bring you flowers and rub your feet, if we're going to say it like that. Yeah, like I don't just feel like you're an attractive person or you're pretty, like I don't want to be you, I want to be with you. And I think those are like two very different feelings that you feel towards women. And I don't know when I like noticed that fully in you, but I think Debbie was like the first time I did. When I actually moved to the city of Toronto, like not being at Humber anymore, when I was working at a restaurant and I was like exposed to more people, I was like not even just getting crushes on girls, like I was like getting feels for girls. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. This is like getting really real. That journey has actually been like kind of crazy for me because sometimes I almost wish it was more obvious. Like I kind of wish I woke up one day just completely knowing exactly who I was and what I wanted, but I struggled with that aspect. Guy or girl, guy or girl. Like I was so in my head when really it's okay to not know and also be open to liking other people. Do you believe sexuality is on the spectrum? Oh, for sure. Like, I don't believe anyone that says, I would never sleep with a woman or I'd never sleep with a man. I remember there was like some Tumblr post <laughs> from like a while ago and I remember reading it in high school that just essentially said like, um, yeah, my guy friend at one point was like, yeah, I, I would try sleeping with a dude just to see what it's like. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. And if I do like it, then great. Like I've learned something about myself, but there's obviously a ton of internalized homophobia that people grow up with and there's so many barriers to people actually allowing themselves to do that but yeah i definitely believe it's a spectrum i believe people should like experiment and i hope that as like we move through time and things grow more progressive that's just kind of the norm and that's why i'm not crazy about labels either and i i always felt like i needed to put a label on myself when i'm like I don't need to, just feel what you feel, love who you love, and take it from there. That's it. Another question I wanted to ask you too is like, I feel like I, I identify as a pretty feminine person. Like I, I don't know if like I was on the street if a lot of people would even think like, I'd be into women. No, you're and super feminine. <laughs> that makes it hard sometimes. And I don't want to play the whole like, oh, it's so hard to meet girls, but sometimes it is because, you know, you can try your apps, 
But what if you don't want to try the apps? What if you're like, I kind of just want to like go? I, I've had this conversation with actually a friend in that I've met here who is in a relationship with a woman as well. And she has just kind of said like, like just girls in general are just like kind of gay. They just are very touchy. They give mixed signals. Like I tell you all the time, like you're gorgeous, you're beautiful. Like we cuddle, like <laughs> things like that. And it's really, really hard. Even if someone, yeah, tells you that you're super pretty, like you don't know where that's necessarily coming from, especially if you both are very femme. You could be fully coming on to me and I would just think that you were being like super friendly with me. I have like cuddled you before or spooned you. I think we both are like very clear that there's nothing romantic between the two of us, but like- This is a date. <laughs> if I was like some girl that you're meeting and I was being like super touchy and forward and like doing those sorts of things, like it would be very, very easy if you were into me to interpret that as like, flirting or like being into you so it's just like a very hard line i think i am Girl, i feel I feel so bad for you <laughs> but you know what i i actually do believe though when there are like boundaries in a sense like if you tell me like persis i am not into you or something i won't read into your <laughs> with my heart it's okay it's just like <laughs> communication to be like you know this is just not what i'm looking for then I think that's it. Like, I won't read your hugs or your, especially because we're really good friends. That can be a difference. I think I get confused more if it's like, if it is someone I'm into and maybe I'm not that close with and we haven't, it's like unsaid. Like, what is it? <laughs> then I'll be like, what's going on? To tell like who's into you or who just is like, likes you as a friend and is kind of touchy. Like, it's so, so hard to like figure out that line. <laughs> because I, I get it. I am that friend. I am that touchy friend too. Like, even yeah. in high school, like even me being like really affectionate towards you guys or always hugging, definitely wasn't like <laughs> me trying to come on to you guys at all. Yeah, but that's actually like going back to like when I first started noticing that like you might be into women was like in high school during parties, you'd be so excited for bedtime. And I knew you were excited for that because you got to come with and spoon her in a bed. You two would always end up in the same bed. You'd always end up cuddling. You cared about going to bed at Caitlin's house on the air mattress on the ground and cuddling. I, see your true I definitely was excited to, for those moments for sure. And obviously all innocently, like it was just having such a crush on someone and she would reciprocate it too. So that was amazing. But yeah. I almost feel like we use that as like, we're both just super affectionate people. We love to snuggle together, but no, I definitely was like, it, it almost felt like, oh, this is kind of like my person. I get to like have those like butterflies with. I think throughout high school, I kind of accused, not accused, accused is a bad word, but kind of like said to you, like, I think you're like kind of in love with this girl. And like, I remember you like shutting that down so hard, but. I also remember knowing like I was your best friend in high school and how you treated this girl and like knowing that you wouldn't do half those things for me. Mm -hmm. Despite like you being the best friend I've ever had, it was like something you were doing because you had like very deep, strong feelings for her. I say in my video, one of my best friends called me out for liking this girl and I shut it down. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, I that. But look at us talking about this 10 years later because or how, how, like seven, eight years later, I think. But I almost, I remember kind of feeling bad because I was also one confused about my feelings, but I do remember you telling me, I'm sad because I feel like you wouldn't do the things you do for her that you would do for me. And I like remember thinking that and feeling that and like feeling jealous of this girl because she had like my best friend's full attention. The last thing I ever would have wanted you to think was like, oh, she wouldn't do that for me because she doesn't like like me as a friend as much as she likes this person as a friend. It never had to do with that. I I didn't know, I didn't even know what those feelings were that I felt for this girl. And I was scared to admit it for sure because for a while I was like, if I do admit this, I feel like I'm gonna ruin my friendship with her, one. If I all of a sudden yeah. come out to you and say, I really, like I have feelings for you, I was so scared. Cause that was a friend who had been a very close friend of mine for like, at that point, like six years. Yes. 
not only that, but she was also in it. Like, I, I definitely do think she had feelings for you as well at that point, but she was in very straight passing relationships throughout that whole time. So you would not only have been admitting feelings, you would have been admitting feelings to someone who was in committed relationships at the time, which is very, very messy. Very messy. So I think to me, my solution, which almost like is really sad to think about it, but my solution was just be, would be like, no, we're friends, we're friends, like deny, deny, deny. And it came out later because I was like, I can't hold it in anymore. And then over time, it kind of just fizzled. We went through our own thing for sure. But when I moved to Toronto and, you know, started to have crushes on other girls and I was like, this is, this is all kind of making sense. But I use Tumblr a lot to like, to really express how I felt. Like, this is like so candid of me to even say this, if I'm going to keep this in the video or not, but <laughs> all my, like romantic Tumblr posts, when I, like, if you go to my old Tumblr, it's all about her. Oh, I thought they were about <laughs> But I just wanted to also tell you, like, thank you for just, like, being such a solid person in my life. And, like, even though we're not in the same city anymore, or even haven't been for, like, a long period of time, like, through throughout at least, like, university and college. But you've always been someone who I've never felt, like, scared to come out to or pour my heart out about someone or like I think I told you this where I felt like I could just tell you everything and you would not you didn't have judgments yeah and I think likewise are we in love no oh, okay <laughs> that's fine yeah it's been it's been a fun ride and not <laughs> not to say like again like not every person you're into has to be like the one or like yeah. someone that you date even like they just have to be someone that teaches you something about yourself and I think that has been the case with every single person that you've been into. I've always thought every person you meet in your life, whether you have feelings for them or whether they're like a really good friend, it's like they're all brought into your life to teach you some type of lesson. And I'm genuinely very grateful for every person, <laughs> every person. But yeah. I love you and thank you for like talking to me and being so candid. Like I said, it's been like, a fun thing to witness throughout this entire experience and I as much as I'm excited for you to like find your person whatever he or she might be or look like like I'm just like happy to be along for the ride and offer you support along the way <laughs> I always forget that we're like still recording this video I'll no, do like a little no, sign off record. imagine I didn't record anything thank you guys so much for watching this wine chat with my best friend Jess and I where we got real candid about some real personal things. If you want to see more of Jess, let me know. And I will check back in with you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>